Did you know that you can collect important information about your visitors and contacts using forms in HubSpot? You can easily add these to your own HubSpot pages or external websites. Here's how it works. Super Hacks, the HubSpot expert. Presented by WPWA Digital. To create a form, you select the marketing section and click on forms. In the top right, you can now select create form. HubSpot has a new form editor. As usual, you have the form on the right side and the various options for it on the left side. What's new now is that the form is divided into different steps. Here you can see the first step, the second step, and the third step. With this plus, you can add another step. This means that when a contact has filled out the information on step one, they will be directed to step two. This offers many options and allows you to personalize the form better. To add fields to the form, you can click on the plus here and simply drag the field onto the form. These fields are not yet connected to properties in HubSpot and can be added here. To add properties that are already set up in HubSpot, you can click on properties here and drag the property onto the form. Here on the left, you can change the label as usual. Add a placeholder text or mark the field as a required field. Here, you can add images, headings, and paragraphs. For example, the privacy policy here. Under content, you have an overview of the different steps and the elements that are in those steps. Down here, you can add another step. With logic fields, you can create an enhanced user experience and the form is personalized through conditional logic. For that, you can click here to add logic and select the conditions. For example, if Germany is selected as the country. Then for example, fields can be shown, fields can be hidden, or it can jump to another step in the form. Here, for example, you can simply jump directly from step one to step three. Here, you can adjust the font, font size, and colors of the form. Down here, you can add the progress bar to the form and show users how their progress in the form is going. Under automation, you can define what should happen automatically after the form is submitted and easily build workflows. In the settings, you can, for example, specify that a new contact should be automatically created in HubSpot for unknown email addresses you send. In submission settings, you can specify who should be notified when a form is submitted. And in language and region, you can set the default language for the form. To view the form, you can see how the form would look on a desktop or on a mobile device. Do you like the video so far? Show it to us with a like. If you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell. In this area, you can now choose the blank template to put the form together completely by yourself. Or you can choose a predefined template that you can personalize in the next step. Now you can start editing by clicking on the orange start button in the top right. Here on the left, you can see the possible form fields that you can easily drag into your form. You can mark the important fields as required fields in the drop down menu. You can also change the appearance by arranging the text fields next to each other or on top of each other. If you select create new at the top, you can add more text, checkboxes, as well as headings or spacing. It's important to mention that the email field is required for form submissions to create contacts. HubSpot even checks the validity of the email address before the form is submitted. If you only want to collect business addresses, you can easily exclude private email providers like Gmail or WebDE. For that, click on the email field, select the pencil icon, and click on block free email providers. Don't forget to include the privacy policy if necessary. Check out our blog post on the topic of GDPR for help. You can find the link to that in the video description. If you click on the pencil icon at the top, you can edit the name of the form. Here in options, you can decide what happens when someone submits the form. For example, you can insert thank you messages here, redirect your leads to another page, or schedule appointments.
Under Style and Preview, you can see how your form looks on different devices and choose various design options. Do you already know about the option to schedule an appointment right after filling out the form? These actions can even be handled individually based on the responses. For example, if someone meets a specific criterion, that person can be redirected to a different page than those who do not meet that criterion. To do this, click on Create Workflow, choose a contact engagement trigger, and select the action that should be triggered, like sending an automated email. For that, you can select a published email down here. Here you can, for example, schedule automated confirmation emails or automatically create deals and service tickets. To make your form smarter and more efficient, you can use progressive fields. What are progressive fields? In standard forms, the same fields are shown to everyone. However, if a contact filling out your form already has a value for that particular field in your system, progressive fields allow you to insert another field in its place. That improves your conversion. And that's it. You've successfully created a form on HubSpot. If you have more questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments or visit our website to schedule a personal conversation.